This conference will now be recorded. So guys, um, people who passed the exam, okay, we are going to arrange a meeting with them. So they will help you, inshallah, to guide you um, in what about this study, about their experience, okay? So we are uh, now inviting them, okay, to join you maybe in the first session, okay, of the course. So they will give you an advice. Our study plan, okay, is starting by tackling the most common causes of failure, okay, and actually the most common cause of failure, it's not a secret, it's the materials, okay, so people in the part two exams, they don't know actually what is the curriculum, okay, about the material, what to focus on, and what is less important, okay, and this is what makes them really like lost between the resources, okay? Another big cause of failure actually is the so many groups on the social media. Yes, we are one of these groups, okay? And I will always say even to my candidate, focus please, okay, on the study materials and the courses, okay, on the questions, selected resources, okay, don't just listen from everyone because unfortunately there is a lot of mistakes or outdated resources like the books, like the recalls uh, version, it's all over the place, okay, so what you will do is you will go here, you will find this answer there, here is there, there, here and there, so you will be so much puzzled, okay, what, what is the correct thing, and my, you know, my concept is clear, please, the concept, go always to the reference, and you will never be confused, in the exam, yes, they tend to repeat, the same ideas or the same topics, there is some topics which will be, you know, it's the VIB, okay, very important topics, okay, to be studied, and this is, you know, it's a fatal mistake if you miss any of them, so you have to make sure that you study them, and every detail and every track is known in these topics, okay, whenever you find a question, make sure that the, your concept is stronger than the key answer, okay? Because why? You know what is the guideline, what's written there, you know the resource, you know what did the college say, you are aware by the update, okay? So, for example, if you open any book now and you look to the question from topics that have been updated recently, like the heavy muscle bleeding, like the cervical screening, okay, so you will find different answers. Um, also, assisted vaginal delivery, okay, the new guideline actually makes things in place and make it more clear, so it's, from my point of view, it's a very good guideline, okay, and you can't mess it also. The same thing for the management of, for example, the molar pregnancy, okay, this is one of the updated guidelines that has change in management and the change in the previous recommendation, so you should be aware of what is the curriculum, what are the resources, okay, trust your materials, and please, just to stick to one group, okay, like, I'm now, you know, um, having extra activity arranged for the new group, which will be like the Telegram group, because we don't want our candidates to go anywhere else. Please just focus with us, okay? So, I will tell you, in the antenatal module, for example, what is the topics that you need to focus on? The topics that you need to focus on will be the NICE guideline of the antenatal care, okay? And everything here highlighted in the green is the you know, five stars topic. Down syndrome screening, genetic disease and major anomalies, no exam without these questions. It's the easy ones, but it's, uh, but it comes. RH iso immunization, it comes as an EMQ sometimes. Twin pregnancy, super important. VTE prophylaxis. Air travel during pregnancy, it's uh, also 
maybe an exam question in one of the points of the EMQ or single best answer, antepartum hemorrhage and abnormal placentation, it's a must as well, okay? Because one of the guidelines that recently updated in the last few years, plus it's an emergency, it's an obstetric emergency, so it's VIB topic. For gestational age, it's all about the algorithm, understanding the two algorithms in there. Reduce fetal movement and the IFD, just also, you know, the main, you know, uh, highlights or what is the recommendation. Large for gestational age, polyhydraminous, it's a sort of single best answer question can be covered this topic. In the maternal medicine, okay, um, we have diabetes, hypertension, blood disorder in pregnancy. Skin eruptions in pregnancy, which is a TUG article, headaches, epilepsy, okay, especially the medication, and the part of the medication comes from the TUG article. So, people who are just chasing the TUG articles, okay, I would say it's humanly impossible that you study all the TUG articles, okay, it's impossible. Even the last three years, TUG articles is not enough, okay. So, what you need to do as very important talk articles should be studied word by word, okay? Then, recent talk articles in the last three years, you should be aware by its topics, okay? Especially if any uh, of this talk article appeared in the exam, so you will know what is the area of exam coaching from there. Like, for example, if we speak about the electrosurgery, okay? One of the top is the uh, talk articles, okay? That appeared recently in the exam, so there is some something that you shouldn't mess or some questions that's unknown, okay? Study them well and go appear in the to the exam in confidence. Even in the uh, one of the recent talk articles that appeared in the exam, it was the abridging anticoagulant, which is they don't ask in depth in the details, but they ask about the general uh, information that everyone should be aware of it, that have been covered in the surgery, have been covered in everywhere, when you stop the aspirin before surgery, or when you stop the NWAC or the DWAC before surgery, when you stop the low molecular weight heparin, when you stop the warfarin, okay, so it's basics. Headaches took article, it will remain, you know, on the top of the list, okay? So those two articles are very important. I highlighted them here. Whenever we have a took article important in the curriculum, it will be in your notes, okay? And I'm going through the notes now with you so you will understand, okay, the website, how to deal with it and how to get the most benefit of it. Okay, so the spinal cord injury is one of the important uh, took article, but it's not EMQ important took article, it's a single best answer took article, okay? Same for the MS in pregnancy, stroke in pregnancy, okay? Then we come to the guideline, which is the acute VTE and BE. Imaging in pregnancy, single best answer. Smoking, okay, also single best answer. Rheumatic Rheumatoid disease in pregnancy or rheumatic disease in pregnancy that will include the arthritis, um, also uh, some any other joint disease, okay, SLE in pregnancy. Those are two articles that appeared in the exam before and it has a contribution to the exam in the single best answer question one. Infections in pregnancy all are important, okay. So all infections in pregnancy are important, while they focus on um, herpes, varicella, um, what else? Yeah, Zika virus in every one, yeah, and group B streptococcus. So the four, those are the four big ones, okay? Then comes the syphilis, malaria, rubella, CMV, parvovirus, COVID-19, all has been touched before in the exam, so we also cover them, but herpes, for example, you should know the details and the tracks in it. Group B streptococcus is the same, for, same for the varicella and Zika, okay? So those are the four ones that you need to cover them in full details, even epidemiology, even numbers, rates, everything comes from here, the four ones, and it, a site of the exam question EMQ's one, OK? 
okay so whenever we have an emq we will focus okay on that how to manage and we'll be ready for any kind of question from this topic okay so i will always say whenever you have an emq topic emq topic means super important topic anything else okay you can just read it and you will still pass this exam why because simply emq accounts for 60 percent of the mark right with what else not only the 60 percent it's the 60 percent that judge your clinical management okay and your ability to give different decision based on different information given to you okay so it need a deep thinking it need a deep knowledge of the subject okay so that's why the emq is your way to success okay in before when this exam was a paper exam we used to say that start with the emq now in the computer one okay thanks god the computer system is easier and it's very good system because it saves your time okay so they you can't choose what to start with no problem in this case because the time will be enough but before when the time even managing the time was a challenge we used to say start with the emq why so at least you will guarantee the 60 percent of your marks okay so now i will say also in your study focus on any topic that had been covered by the emq why because it will guarantee 60 percent in the last exam pass mark was 63 percent okay so if you understand deeply the emq you will be able to achieve okay 80 percent of the pass mark or more if you lose them and it's very easy to lose them, unfortunately, okay? So the single best answer will never save you, okay? Single best answer accounts for 40% in the exam. You know the 40% in the single best answer, okay? 20% are easy and repeated questions, okay? 10% comes from the two articles and the famous number, repeated numbers as well. And 10% are really tricky, okay? Because sometimes you don't understand what is the source of it, okay? So my job, okay, is to cover 95% of the exam question. This is my job and this is my promise to the candidate. And this is what we do, okay, in the previous patches. And you can just ask your uh colleagues who passed okay that we have covered and we guarantee that 95 percent of the exam okay maybe five percent is not there okay because the college has you know open source this exam is an open source so they can ask from any publication nhs public health of england anywhere okay so we can't control the five percent but we have in hand a 95 percent and you need to achieve okay like a 70% so you pass with confidence this is your plan to go so i will continue with you guys and whenever you have a question about the important topics or what topics to focus on okay please write in the chat box and i will answer it immediately okay so we have the early pregnancy complication this module is a small in size but it contributes in the exam to a big you know part of the um, marks okay so early pregnancy complication this is a highly scoring topics ectopic pregnancy you need to know how to manage them especially pregnancy of unknown location or the gray zone okay molar pregnancy it's updated one so it's super important whenever we have update in the last three years it's super important okay so nausea and vomiting in pregnancy is still being asked in every exam they like to ask about the management of those cases because simply they are everywhere around us right miscarriage okay it's easy and direct with its complication even the um you know the consent advice with the termination of miscarriage the numbers in there is important so everything in the topic of miscarriage is important including the legal aspect of it 
okay methods of abortion okay um means medical surgical okay you need to understand every detail about them the abortion act it used to come as an emq okay part of the legal uh problems okay so it'd be good that you understand in the uk how is the practice and which woman is allowed to terminate at any time during pregnancy and which woman has a limited time okay for the termination and you understand the clauses different clauses okay of the termination of the abortion act okay and it's based it's very easy okay we just okay uh, enumerate the cases and solve examples on it and it will be clear inshallah comes to the labor and delivery wow okay labor and delivery in exam it accounts like 40 percent of the questions 40 questions sorry okay so 40 questions on management of labor delivery and postpartum i think more than 40 okay so if you ask me guys i'm going to the exam and i need three topics that i should never mess okay could you please give me advice about those three topics i will tell you management of delivery i will tell pre-malignant lesions okay because they are all over the exam in every in each paper and i will tell you early pregnancy complications these are 100 questions of your exam that is 200 questions can you imagine that yes so you will be asked in those three part the three topics okay and with the pre-malignant lesion i will also include the heavy menstrual bleeding because it can come uh, heavy menstrual bleeding postmenopausal bleeding abnormal bleeding okay so the bleeding ones so the core of the obstetric management is to understand the management of labor and delivery okay with its complication you need to understand each and every detail okay you need to understand each and every detail starting from the anatomy okay of it the normal stages of labor those remember we had it in the medical school no problem we will have it again okay we will study it again even the fetal skull diameter is important everything is important in the labor and delivery management you should absorb it okay so my dear candidates i will always say okay you can skip if any topic okay in study but never skip this one you can focus and you never okay get bored from the study of labor and delivery important for you as a doctor practice the evidence based okay also very important for you as a candidate of mrcg will never pass the MRCUG without those important topics. Okay, so the complication of labor is included, like the maternal collapse, postpartum hemorrhage. Okay, everything there is important, as I told you. The postpartum problems, including the depression, also important. Okay. The complication like the VBAC, the tears, perineal tears, shoulder dystocia, breech delivery, multiple pregnancy and labor, okay, also are sites of exam questions and EMQ questions, never to meet them. In the prenatal mental health, it's important to understand the difference between the peripartum depression non-psychotic disorder postpartum baby blues postpartum psychosis and the most important thing is the medication okay the red flag signs and the medication this is the core of this module the uh, the postnatal problems okay the confidential inquiry into maternal deaths okay and its latest report you need to have a read for them why actually it gives us lessons you know about how to avoid the morbidity and mortality and uh, catastrophic cases, how to be managed in the labor wards, okay, or in during pregnancy and its complication. And also, 
they will be there boxes that contain the red flag signs or the recommendation of practice and the examiner okay truly will have these cases okay in mind because they will study discuss and discuss have meeting and everything for the uh, m m meeting and everything so it will be in their mind when they write the question okay you know what is the first thing will come in their mind when they want to write a scenario it's the maternal death report okay that's why they focus on cardiac disease in pregnancy vte hemorrhage okay and also they focus on epilepsy in the exam you know why because simply okay those are the most common causes of the maternal death either direct or indirect including also maternal health mental health okay In the gynecological problem, I will always say focus on the bleeding one. Okay, so no bleeding means amenorrhea or abnormal bleeding like the HMP. Okay, bleeding with fibroid, those are the important topics in the gynecological disorder, including also topics like FGM or vulval lesion. Those are super important. You will find a green highlight plus stars there. One minute, guys, excuse me. I'm sorry for the interruption. I'm back again. So, guys, those are the important topics that highlighted here in the gynae problems, okay, which is the, as I told you, the site of the MQ. In the subfertility module, we should know how to manage the male subfertility, okay. Some topics like the endometriosis, PCOS are super also, and the nice guideline of the subfertility and the principles of management. Also, topics like the male and female sterilization, it actually comes in the subfertility and in the contraception one. You will find a lot of details about ICSI, IVF, um, a choosing of embryo. This is apparently um, an advanced level of knowledge, and if it comes in the exam, it will come as a single best answer question, maybe one or two. I don't say more than that, okay? Never even came uh, more than one in the previous exam. So read it once, okay? Otherwise, focus on the EMQ topics. In the sexual and reproductive health uh, section or the module, you will find the STDs. And the STDs, it's infection, right? So it's important. Any and every infection in your exam is important. So this is the parts, okay, that you need to focus on. Some topics like the child abuse or vaginismus, vulvodynia, transgender even. Sexual assault, those topics, okay, appeared in the exam as a single best answer questions before. We will cover them, okay, but I'm just focused on the important topic from the exam point of view. If you would like to be, you know, uh, smart and you need to divide your time when you study, okay? So I will say 80% of your topic of your time in the study, please spend it on the highlighted topics in green, okay? And 20% of your time of study and focus on the other topics.
In the module of the contraception and family planning, you will find the emergency contraception, top number one. Okay, because this is the site of the MEQ. You should know also some information about the LARC contraception, the long acting, and contraception in the immediate and postpartum period, contraception in the perimenopause period, contraception in cardiac patients. This is all I took articles and we discussed and we covered them in our uh, course. Okay, and the source of the contraception is the FSRH, the Faculty of Sexual and Reproductive Health Guidelines. You will find them summarized nicely in the website. Those are a huge amount also of, uh, you know, material if you go to the guideline itself. Oncology, this is the pre lesion. This is the postmenopausal bleeding. Okay, can you see them? Those are the very, very important things that you never miss. Premalignant lesion include management of ovarian cyst in the premenopausal and postmenopausal period, endometrial hyperplasia, cervical screening, and vulval lesions. Okay, so you will find four EMQs at least, at least four EMQ themes. Four EMQ themes means up to 12 questions in the exam at least, okay, in the EMQ gynae. In the single best answer, this is countless questions, okay? So you can find 20 questions uh, covering these parts. From the cancer or the oncology part, they like to ask about the vulval cancer, cervical cancer. Recently, they focus on the cancer, <clears throat> sorry, endometrial cancer and its management, and ovarian cancer, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Okay, so now they focus on that. Before, they used to only ask in the gynecology about the staging and five year survival rate. Now they ask about the details of treatment. Okay, so you should cover this as well. In the urogynecology, another small easy module, okay, will make it very easy with you guys in only two sessions. Main source is a nice guideline of urinary incontinence, interpretation of the urodynamics, very important. It can come as an EMQ. Both hysterectomy vault prolapse, it's also an EMQ. Then other topics like Recurrent UTI, mesh complication, postpartum voiding dysfunction, bulking agent. This is all a single best answer question topics. In the surgical, core surgical skills and post-operative complication, the first and important part you need to cover is the legal issues. Okay, it's a consent because if you have a surgical procedure, whatever the surgical procedure, okay, it's a fix it that you have a preparation for the patient to the surgery, right? Part of your pre-operative stage is the consent, and it's the legal part. So understanding the consent and what are, are you allowed to do, okay, in the surgical theater, okay, and what you cannot do or proceed more, you need to understand when to proceed, when not. You need to understand when you can take a consent from a 15 years old and when you can't. When you can take a consent from a 15 years while a 50 years old, okay, is not okay fit for the consent to give you a consent because simply the mental act okay has it's also um limitation on the consent people when you doubt their capacity okay people with uh dementia for example or early onset alzheimer okay so what you need what you need to do legally is very important okay in the core surgical skills then comes everything else come the instrument come the uh, preparation for the patient to theater come the enhanced recovery pro pro program come the uh, complication of each surgery including laparoscopic complication urinary tract injuries bowel injuries 
bleeding, nerve injuries, okay, even the electrosurgery complication, everything will come afterwards, okay? So in the surgery, the resources, the main resources of your study will be our notes, okay? Don't need to go anywhere else for the surgery, as well as for the urogynecology and the contraception, okay? So I will come also with you when you will only stick to the material and when you will go and read the guideline itself. So this is the whole material. I don't want to go one by one with it, okay? Because it will be very boring for you. So guys, in the teaching and the clinical governance, this is also our note will be your resource. We will cover the teaching methods, the assessment in workplace, workplace behavior, okay? Between doctors and we will cover also the clinical governance. Okay, don't forget that we have a separate statistics and research workshop, okay, and we have a separate mock test for it. So these topics looks like hard topics, but it's not, believe me, it's not hard. It will be summarized in our notes and we will go through it in details with you, plus the mock exams at the end so it will be easy don't worry about it next part i'm going to do now with you is just i'm explaining the website and this website guys now before the course starting you will have access to this material okay which is the mrcug september 2020 as well as the questions bank okay so I will go through the material with you. So here in the material, of course, your own access will be activated on the first day of the course, okay? So this is the example of the materials, okay? So every red icon here is the material one, is a PDF. You can print it out, okay? We don't mind that our candidates print our materials. Okay, because simply they can't study without printout. I I I can I found it very difficult really if people just you know study from a computer or a laptop. Okay, so here you will find all the PDF. Whatever presentation I'm using in a session, okay, it will be available to you. You can have it, you can revise it, focus on the important points. Every blue icon here represents a record, okay? So let's say this is the ovarian cancer record, okay? So simply just open it and you can here have, you know, the speed of the voice. So uh, I'm, I tend to speak slowly. I know our friends from East and South Asia, they speak faster so they can just make the speed on 1.25, it will help them, okay? It will maintain the same quality and you can find, can find it easier for you, okay? Less boring actually. So this is an example. Dear. Yes, dear? Hello? Okay. Okay. So guys, if you need anything, just write it in the chat box. Okay, guys, so here you will find all the previous recorded. You can use it as a preparatory material and you can use it also like, for example, okay, our course was started by the uh, obstetric part, right? Okay, so focus on that. We will focus on the obstetric. Let's say you need to revise the oncology for some reason, okay? You have a local exam, you need to, you have, you know, just, um, you are curious about the topics, you have time and you need to go through it, then no problem. You can find here the records and listen to it. So no problem, okay? You can use it as a pre-preparatory or you can use it anytime, okay? So the resources is open for you. And here in the question banks, you will find the mock exams like this, 
Okay, so I will just go also with you. Like for example, we have the oncology mock test. Okay, so simply this is a time limited one. Here you will find the time limit. It's one hour fifteen minutes. Okay, and just attempt. Here you find the questions. You can choose which question to start with, and you can flag the question so anytime you can return to the same questions. Okay, and at the end you just submit, like say, okay, finish attempt. Please don't do that. Just solve every question. But now as a demonstration, okay, I will say submit and finish. So once submit have been here you will find your answers of course we didn't answer anything so but anyway it's here with the explanation of the question okay explanation of the answer so for example this is a question about mrs x who was 59 year old woman who presented with a six month history of vulval itching and soreness the itching can be especially troublesome during the night and it wakes her up she had a good and bad and bad days, but finds the flare up especially distressing. So would rate the itching and soreness at severe of eight on ten on a scale of flare up. Another complaint is the loss of vulval skin and she feels that the vulval area is tighter. Topical emollients help but don't completely take away the itching. Has the GB give her one percent hydrocortisone cream which did not help with the symptoms okay so what is the next step of management let's decide that the woman will have a biopsy okay so what type of biopsy is it we have the choices punch biopsy or incisional biopsy or an excisional biopsy okay so here's the explanation of each type of it and why is the correct answer finally in the outpatient four millimeter key is punch vulval biopsy okay so this is simply how the questions will come and our previous candidates who passed they find that our mock exams are very um, helpful for them and also it's very similar to the exam questions because simply we put complete scenario we don't use a broken scenarios or in complete scenarios okay we are training you on the same language style of the questions okay of the exams when we solve also the mock exams we will teach you the technique how to focus how to extract the buzzword from the question and read the lid in in the question and answer accordingly okay because it can be tricky if you don't know what is the technique of answer the question in the exam so knowledge is not enough if you ask me really guys 40 percent i will give to the knowledge okay and 60 percent i will give to the solving questions but you can't go to that you can't you know jump you can't go to the solving questions without a proper knowledge so it's the base it's the concept the 40 percent that we need to clear it and it's a good chance that you just joined early okay with us so you will have time for clearing the concepts and you will have a good time in the questions near the exam we will have four sessions per week okay this will include one of them will be recall sessions only by dr rana okay and the others will be focusing on the questions answering the questions okay so we go with the timetable of the course okay at first we will have one weekly session and this is will be the first six weeks only why because simply we are busy i'm sorry okay so we are busy with the september group okay so um only we will start with one session per week okay and the time of this session will be confirmed with you on the group because i need your opinion about the timing okay then it will increase the rate of the question of sorry the sessions it will increase to two sessions per week and once we start in november so we accelerate the rate near to the exam and it will be three sessions per week 
then in December it will be even four sessions per week. We take it seriously, also our candidate take it seriously, okay? And this is how we promise our candidate to cover everything. We will not leave you, okay, to lost in the material or lost in the last minute of the revision, okay? We will be with you day by day on the Telegram group, okay, and with sessions at four times per week, really, okay? We will be with you every day. You will, We will never leave you, okay, to be lost in between the materials and the study, the huge amount of study. I have finished my presentation, okay? If you have any questions, you can just ask me, guys. You can always post the questions on the Telegram group, okay? And I would say that I'm so grateful that you have registered on our course and I really, really appreciate your trust, okay? So people, you put trust in me, okay? And I will never let you down. I will do my part, okay? And also Dr. Rana, she's helping me in the course, Dr. Nada as well, and Dr. Ahmed, okay? They are helping a lot in the questions and in materials and in the recall sessions. So guys, I promise you, that we are doing our best for you to pass the exam. Please, okay, do your part as well. Please study from day one hard. Take it seriously. It's very painful, really, to repeat this exam. So whenever you give it a shot, okay, that should be the one. <laughs>